Discovery can get messy. Deer are mammals in the order Artiodactyla, which means even toed, because these animals have two toes on their hooves. The most common deer species in my part of North America is the white-tailed deer. Most people know white-tailed deer from the movie Bambi. Bambi starts out as a fawn, with white spots that help baby deer blend into their surroundings and hide from predators. Mother deer will leave their fawns hiding in tall grasses and out-of-the-way places for hours at a time so that the mothers can browse for food without attracting predators to their babies. When a fawn becomes an adult, it loses the white spots and grows a solid brown coat. But did you know that adult deer change the color of their coats depending on the season? During the summer, a deer's coat is light brown, almost orange, like this. In the winter, deer shed their coat and grow a new one that's darker brown, almost gray, like this. Female deer, called does, will hang out together in small herds, usually made up of a few mothers and their daughters. Living in a group helps protect them from danger. If a deer does sense danger, she can throw up her white tail flag to signal to the others in her group to run away. That's why they're called white-tailed deer. Another species of deer we can find in North America is the elk, which also has a white hind end. The Native Americans noticed this and called the elk wapiti, which means white rump. These male elk, called bucks, are sporting antlers, which all male deer grow. Adult bucks grow their antlers in spring every year and shed them in late winter. They use their antlers to show off to the does and also to fight one another for the best breeding opportunities. Even if you don't see a live deer on a hike outside, you might still see deer sign, like this game trail. Deer herds often take the same path to water or browsing areas multiple days in a row, which creates a clear path through the underbrush that you can follow. Following a game trail to see where it leads it sounds like a great reason to go outside and get messy. Don't forget that you can follow Get Messy on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for hitting that subscribe button and then for liking and sharing this video with your friends and family. And as always, I'll see you next week.